Maybe the most well-known alien conspiracy surrounds the infamous Roswell UFO incident. So, what really happened? Is there a logical explanation for this event, or is there a chance that it actually is an alien encounter? Let's find out in today's episode of Colossal Mysteries. It all started on June 14th of 1947, when a rancher in New Mexico named William Mac Brazell found something strange while out on horseback, about 30 miles north of a small town called Roswell. He came across clusters of wreckage and debris that looked like some kind of plane had come crashing down from the sky. The crash site was full of large hunks of metal, rubber strips, tin foil, and all kinds of strange bits and bobs. Puzzled by the peculiar find, the rancher decided to collect the materials from the site. The next day, Brazel read reports in the paper about an unidentified object flying over the area at night. Two days later, Mac Brazel got up the nerve and told the local sheriff what he found. But if Brazel is to be believed, the sheriff whispered to him that he may have found a flying disc and that he should keep it confidential. The sheriff then contacted Roswell Army Airfield who visited Brazel's ranch, collected the wreckage, and asked him to keep things under wraps. Of course, he didn't. And almost overnight, local newspapers and tabloids were writing stories about the unidentified crash. More stories ran about the witnesses seeing strange, charred creatures inside the airfield. And before long, the well-known UFO conspiracy theory was born. So, is there a chance that Mac Brazell stumbled across an authentic alien crash site near Roswell, New Mexico all those years ago? Or is there an explanation for what they found? Immediately following the incident, the U.S. military announced that the so-called flying saucer was nothing more than a run-of-the-mill weather balloon that had crashed during a windstorm. Newspapers who printed headlines about flying saucers issued corrections and the Roswell flying saucer incident seemed to be over. The Roswell story quickly faded from the headlines, but interest in aliens and UFOs kept growing across the country. It seemed as though the Roswell incident was all but forgotten until the early 1980s when two UFO researchers wrote a book about the incident. In their book, the duo claimed it was all a government cover-up. Aliens were actually found at the crash site of the UFO. Experts, government agencies, and members of the military all disputed and debunked the book's claims. But by this point, it was too late. A spark was lit, and before long, more conspiracy theories started popping up around Roswell and other possible UFO sites across the country. And as it turns out, Skeptics and conspiracy theorists weren't entirely wrong to doubt the official Roswell story. The government wasn't telling the whole truth when they claimed a weather balloon crash near Roswell. In 1994, the U.S. Air Force finally admitted that the weather balloon that crashed near Roswell wasn't your average aircraft. It was a secret U.S. spy balloon that was part of a top-secret program called Project Mogul. Their objective? Monitor Soviet nuclear tests by detecting sound waves in the upper atmosphere. The tech was quickly surpassed by other, more advanced methods, but it took the military over 40 years to disclose the truth. Since the balloon was involved in a Cold War cover-up, rumors could grow. And what about those charred alien bodies people reported seeing at Roswell Army Airfield? Well, turns out there's an explanation for them too. A 1997 Air Force report determined that the alien bodies were actually parachute crash test dummies that had been burned up in an accident. But for those who still believe, all these explanations amount to nothing more than a giant government cover-up. And it's safe to say, nothing is going to change their minds on that. And now you know a little bit more about the not-so-mysterious Roswell UFO incident. Comment below with a mystery you'd like us to solve. And remember to subscribe for more episodes of Colossal Mysteries. Only on DreamWorks TV.